Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Gill. I'm visiting from Wisconsin. Today we're going to be injecting Dr. Joshin's earlobes with filler. So I think this is a great procedure. I've seen lots of videos of earlobes being injected with filler to give them more volume and look more youthful. I think this would especially be a great procedure for Indian women who tend to wear heavy earrings. So when they get older, their earlobes start to sag. So let's check it out. All right, so thank you so much for the intro, Dr. Gill. Um, I'm getting older, and so I like to put filler everywhere to just give a more youthful appearance on my face. And so my earlobes are getting a little bit flat. And the other thing is I looked around the office for somebody else who might need their earlobes injected, and our staff is so young there was nobody. So I guess I'm it. And so we're lucky we have Zarlene, who's one of our best injectors in the practice. Of course, they're all good. But Zarlene's going to demonstrate using Juvederm for the earlobes. Now, Juvederm is my favorite for earlobes, and the reason I like it is for two main reasons. Number one, it mushes out. They call it Moviderm, or I mean, they call it smooth. I call it Moviderm because it does move into position. And the earlobes, we just, just want them a little bit full and we don't want them to clump up or lump up. And they also may swell a little bit because they attract a little bit of water. So I think they're the ideal filler for the earlobes. So Zarlene is terrific and she's going to make this happen for us. Um, so this is um, an easy treatment. You can use for, for uh, small earlobes, you may need one syringe on each side. Uh, mine have been recently injected, probably about six months ago, so I'm only going to use half a syringe on each side. And um, this, is, this just takes a couple minutes. Now, for those of you who's, one of the things that happens is as we get older, our ears continue to get bigger. And so one of the things we also do in addition to filling earlobes is we'll do earlobe reductions for people that want to make them a little bit smaller. When I find the right guy, I'm actually going to do that procedure. So Juvederm is great because it has um, anesthesia in it as well as the filler. And so it's not very painful. And the nice thing about earlobes is it's not painful really to um, do much to them at all. So like she's injecting the filler right now and I honestly don't feel anything and I'm pretty much of a baby when it comes to pain, but truly really there's just a little bit of a pinch. Is there anything you want to add about the earlobes, Arlene? I thought your earlobes already looked great, Dr. Joshin. Arlene always knows the right thing to say. It's one of the things I love about her. She'll always tell you you don't need anything. <laughs> As she injects. The truth. 10 syringes of filler into my face. You don't need this at all. <laughs> we'll just do 10 today. Or when she does my laser, she'll say, you don't need this at all. Let's just turn it up a little bit. And why don't you come back next week? A little bit more. Right here. And um, when my earlobes really get flat, I'll actually do a full CC on each side. And I think Dr. Gill's comment about the earlobes for women who wear heavy earrings is really important because um, over time, women's the holes actually stretch out a little bit, and um, the earlobes get flatter. So the the earrings I've seen in women that they actually almost hang down towards the floor, and by doing the uh, juvenile, it actually gives it volume, so it supports those those your earrings. Something I'm not an expert in because I don't wear heavy earrings, but I have had my patients say that it's been really beneficial for them. How are you feeling? Do you feel anything? Are you talking about the pain or? <sighs> yeah, it, I, I feel nothing actually. I really feel nothing. There are certain areas on the um, face that really hurt when you get injections. Um, that's the nose can really hurt and the lips can really hurt, but this is completely painless. Still okay? I'm doing great. And after she injects, all she'll do is she'll just mush it, like just pinch the earlobe, and that smooths it out. You, the aftercare is really simple for this. There's really, you don't have to do anything. If you get a bruise, which is rare, you can ice it 10 minutes on the hour for one to two days. Um, but I don't think I have any bruising, do I, Charlene? Nope. No, no bruising. bruising. Um, so there's, you just go on and live your life. And so thank you all for tuning in today. If you have any questions, contact us on contourderm.com. And thank you, Dr. Gill, for the introduction.